Amen. Choosing, I say, Oh, you are worthy, Lord. Choosing, I say, You are. Oh, the God of you of our time our time and looking at the time praise the Lord because of our time we need to return back to our seats and as we're returning join me in this worship thou art worthy I'm worthy, O Lord. I'm power. Thou art worthy, Lord. I'm worthy, O Lord. I'm the fighting heaven who is like come to the father oh Lord 
I'm on the ghost who is like the glorious in holiness, fearful in praise, always. There is no holy as the holy as the Lord. I'm beside him. Hallelujah. For the Lord God, who made the thing rain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. All. Hallelujah, for the Lord God, who many pot and grain. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, for the Lord God, who many pot and grain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. for the love, God, of me, for the rain. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Is the Lord? Is the Lord? He has risen from the dead. He is the Lord. Hallelujah. Shabbat. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. He is the Lord. He is the Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is the Lord. Hallelujah. Shabbat. Every tongue confess that Jesus is the Lord. Is the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Blessings and glory. Glory on all. Wisdom, thanksgiving. Ah, honor, honor, honor. Power and might. Be unto the Lord. Forever and ever. Amen. 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 Oh, glory on up. Oh, no, no, might be unto the Lord forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Escaviana Ruski Tena, Rubokoshi Kapeluski Te, Roviana Ruski Tena. Oh, no, no.
Now lay your hands upon your chest. Every contrary spirit shall not worship in our midst. Those spirits must leave. They must pack their load. The spirit that followed you, that have been hindering your blessings, your blessings spiritually, physically, materially, financially, academically, your blessings in life. That spirit follow, follow demons. Spirit husband. Spirit husband. Catch fire. Come out. Bring them out as they are responding to that. Paul, bring them out. Bring them out. You wicked spirit. You stubborn spirit husband. I torment you by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, Holy Ghost fire, spirit husband, catch fire, come out, Holy Ghost fire, queen, queen of course. Queen of course, cash fire come out. Holy Ghost fire. Fire, fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. You witchcraft spirit. You witchcraft spirit. You serpentine spirit. You serpentine spirit. Cash fire come out. Holy Ghost fire. You python, you snake. Catch fire, catch fire. You queen of heaven, queen of ghosts, queen of queen. Catch fire. Unclean spirit. Spirit of backwardness. Spirit of backwardness. Spirit of hatred. Spirit of poverty. Catch fire, come out. Holy Ghost fire. Familiar spirit, ancestral spirit, witchcraft spirit, I torment you by fire, Holy Ghost fire. Spirit wife, spirit wife, unclean spirit, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Spirit of poverty, spirit of backwardness, I torment you by fire. You spirit of untimely dead, catch fire, come out. Holy Ghost fire. Marine spirit, familiar spirit, unclean spirit, spirit of death, catch fire, catch fire. Holy Ghost fire, 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 fire, Holy Ghost fire, at my fire. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, 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 fire. Begin to shout fire seven times. Holy Ghost. Fire. Holy Ghost 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 fire. All the marine kingdom catch fire. All the Sabbatai kingdom catch fire. All the kingdom of Red Astra will catch fire. Holy Ghost. Wherever they lock you up spiritually, wherever they tie you, wherever you are bound, as I count seven, you must be loose. One loose. What 
about the tie your progress, tie your future. Those that tie their marriage, tie their womb, I lose you. 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 Too loose. Three loose. Wherever they took your picture to, wherever they took your name to, Holy Ghost. Why? Any man tie you in the heart, any woman tie you in the shrine, in the heart, loose, loose, loose. Four loose. Five loose. Six loose. We are ever the holding you. I said, come and make it, let me see. Come and move forward, let me see. Come and prosper, let me see. You must be free. In the name of Jesus, I open the prison. In the name of Jesus, I release you. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. Be free, be free, be free, be free, be free. Seven loose. Bring them out, bring them out. Holy Ghost, bring them out. Father, bring them out. Bring them out. Wherever they tie them. Wherever they tie their soul. Tie their progress. Tie their business. Tie their future. Tie their marriage. Tie them. I lose them. Spiritually, I lose you. Physically, I lose you. I lose you. I command freedom. 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 Holy Ghost. Fight. All just watch out what is happening down there everywhere. I lose you, I set you free. 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 Witchcraft spirit, marine spirit, serpentine spirit, familiar spirit. I bind you, I cast abyss in Jesus' name. Spirit husband, ancestral spirit. Spirit of robbery, spirit of stealing, spirit of death. I bind you, I cast abyss in Jesus' name. Spirit husband, queen of coasts, queen of heaven, servant eye spirit. I bind you, I bind you, I cast abyss in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. We are ever the initiated you. By the blood of Jesus, I cancel the decision. I lose you, I set you free in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. As I count three, I command every contrary spirit. Pack your look, come out of the body, enter the bottomless pit. I cover here with the blood of Jesus. I do not permit any of this unclean spirit, evil spirit of power in your life, even in this vicinity anymore. I command total freedom, total evacuation from their body, from their family, from their life. One, go. Two, go. I cast it up with all the Out! 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 Holy Ghost fire! 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 Out! Marie Spirit, I bind you, I cast you out. Street husband, I bind you, I cast you out. Uncle Spirit, I bind you, I cast you out. I command freedom in Jesus' name. There is power. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Deliverance power. Freedom power in the name. 
Oh Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command total freedom. I command total deliverance. Father, any kingdom, wherever their name has been taken for, from, wherever their name has been registered, in the name of Jesus, I destroy that kingdom. In the sea, I destroy that kingdom. I destroy that shrine. I destroy that temple. I destroy that altar. I destroy that power. I command fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Can I hear you shout amen? amen? Precious daddy, I pray for everyone present in this program. I pass a decree. None of them shall remain in poverty. None of them shall remain under curse. None of them shall remain in affliction. None of them shall remain a failure. I bind those powers. I bind those spirits walking against them. I cast them to abyss in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I decree. Everyone in this program must be blessed. That person book on oppression, I cancel the oppression. And I pray for brand new kidney be given to you in Jesus' name. And I pray for you. That terrible fear of death and split of death, I cancel your life. I decree you shall fulfill your years in Jesus' name. That back pain, west pain, I cancel it. Be healed in Jesus' name. That terrible typhoid fever, typhoid, I cancel it now. I cancel, I command to be healed in Jesus' name. And I pray and cause that cough and that heaviness on the head be healed in Jesus name my daddy every plant you have not planted in their body, in their family, in their life I cause the evil plant in that family we are almost every one of them, five of the women married no child, I break the yoke, I declare all of you free I command that in, after this program all of you must conceive. That family say amen to this prayer. My daddy, that terrible case of sleeping and snoring, I cancel it. I command freedom in Jesus' name. The poison that your man that affected in the place of work, I cancel that poison. Let it be hid in Jesus' name. And I pray for you. Victory shall be yours. Father, fight for this person. Father, deliver this family. Father, intervene in this marriage. Intervene in Jesus' name. All I'm asking you in this program, as I speak to your people, at the end of this program, everyone must be blessed. Lord, bless them spiritually, physically, materially. Otherwise, in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, take over. Speak to everyone. Bless everyone. In Jesus' powerful name, we we'll pray. Shall we get seated? I'm going to be a little bit fast because of our time. Now, turn your Bible to Ecclesiastes chapter 3. I read from verse 1. Look at your Bible. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. I read from verse 1. And it reads, look at it. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Take note. Time for everything. If you look at verse 2, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to uh, heal and a time to break down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, 
a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away, cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rent and a time to sue. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Now, take note. There is time for everything under the heaven. What is your time? I didn't hear you very well. Now, look at John chapter 10 verse 10b. The I, I am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. In Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Acts of Apostle chapter 10. I read verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all, all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. For he said, I have had thee in a time accepted. In the time, look at it. In the time accepted. In the day of salvation have I scored thee. Behold. Now is accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. From this chapter, some verses I'm bringing to you the theme Time for God to Bless You. We are looking at part two, but seen part one yesterday. Pay attention. A father in heaven. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Almighty, the omnipotent Jehovah, the creator of all things, visible and invisible, the source of every good thing. Yesterday, I want you to take note. He proved that he is. That, take note. I said, God proved yesterday that it is time for God to bless. You by what he did in our midst, and the testimonies abound. He has come to bless you. Take note, he has blessed so many people in time past through his earthly ministry, and severally in our ministry, the Lord choosing a slightly viable movement. He has made impossibilities to become possible. God has blessed so many people in this ministry. He has blessed them spiritually, has blessed them physically, materially, financially, academically, and otherwise. He has blessed them in many areas. Take note. To prove that he has come to bless us, and we have heard some of the testimonies today of what he did yesterday. And even what he did in our midst today, it is your turn. Are you hearing me? You will never go home the same in Jesus' name. So, we shall consider this message under the flowing of headings. One, our example and consideration. Two, I was put in response and you are taught to be blessed. I say it is your turn. And let's go to point number one. Our example and consideration. Many example are, examples are bound to the fact that he has come to bless humanity. And Master Jesus Christ proved it with, with many infallible proofs. If you look at Luke chapter 19, verse 10, he said, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Think about it. He has come to seek and to save that which was lost. And in John chapter 10 
and verse 10 be, I am come that they might have life, have it more abundantly. He see you today, abundance of life shall be your portion. Eternal life shall be your portion. All that it takes to live, to make it, shall be your portion. He said, I am come that they might have life, have it more abundantly. He made his mission clear to all, the, all his audience, all that followed him while he was here on his earthly ministry. He made his mission, the purpose of his coming, very clear. He manifested that the fact that he has come to bless humanity. He manifested it clearly, severally, even to all that came across him. He made them to understand he has come to bless them. And I want you to understand he has come to bless us. If you look at your Bible, in Matthew chapter 11, verse 4, let's see, Matthew chapter 11, I read verse 4, Matthew chapter 11, verse 4, and it reads, Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which you do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, and the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Take note. All this the Lord did, and many in every area. While he was here on his earthly ministry, he made all impossibilities to become possible. And here I'm assuring you, he has come again. Are you hearing me? His grace is here, his presence is here, his power is here. You will never go back the same. I said he manifested the fact that he has come to bless his people, even humanity. If you look at the book of Matthew chapter 12 verse 15, he has come. And for the fact that he has come, your life can never be the same. Look at chapter 12 verse 15. He did it in time past to everyone. But when Jesus knew it, he would do himself from thence and great more to do followed him and he hid them all. He hid them all, every one of them. The Lord manifested his goodness. The Lord blessed all of them with all their needs. He met all their needs, all their needs, spiritually, physically, materially, financially. He blessed them. He see you today. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has come and to bless you. I said he has come to bless you. As he did of old, he will do it again. Are you hearing me? He blessed all that came to him and even invited all to come because he has something for everyone. Praise the Lord. If you look at your Bible in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, he said, Come unto me, O ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And all those people that came to him, in time past, he met all their need. Look at your Bible. He see you today, the Lord will meet your need. He did it before. Many others, and cast them down at Jesus' feet. What happened? And he hid them. He see you. Haven't invited you to this program. You are going home with blessings. Do you agree with me? He blessed them, those of old, by meeting all their needs. Has he changed? Answer me. He blessed them spiritually, physically, materially, financially. He blessed them in every area. And I'm assuring you, the same God will bless you. Salvation shall be yours. Restoration shall be yours. 
sanctification shall be yours all the gift and fruit of the spirit shall be yours the power of god shall be yours and i'm assuring you the material blessings shall be yours he has done it before he will do it again how many of you believe it if you look at your bible the lord did it of old and here he is today to bless you and to bless me and we must all be blessed in jesus name look at your bible in the book of matthew chapter 9 and verse 35 let's see matthew chapter 9 verse 35 and i read chapter 9 verse 35 and it reads jesus went about all cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. I want to let you know it was healing every sickness, every disease. In fact, he was meeting all the need of everyone that came to his invitation, that answered his invitation, that responded to his invitation. And all the people he came across that we are looking for blessing the Lord blessed them and he has not changed I said the Lord has not changed I don't know what you are going through the Lord will meet your need I said the Lord will meet your need he met the dead people that, that we are being you know, counted to be dead the daughter of Jairus he brought him back, back, back to life Lazarus he brought him back to life after four days. And I want to let you know, the only son of a widow, he brought him back to life to prove that he has come to bless humanity. And he made the blind, the deaf, the dumb, and restored their organ. As he had been doing in the midst of the choosing. And when there was no bread to feed the multitude, with a little bread, he fed thousands of people, 5,000 men, uncountable women and children, and there was left over. He blessed them. He met all their needs. When they were in trouble, the apostles were troubled because of the situation in the sea, in the boat. The Lord opened his mouth and spoke, and there was calm in that raging sea. I don't know the raging situation in your life, as I speak and pray for you today, that situation shall be calm. Are you hearing me? And if you brought any person that his organ is dead or dead physically, that person shall come back to life. If you believe he say amen. In our last crusade in Lagos, there was the lady that died. And as prayer was being made, the spirit entered the body again and she came back to life. Is see in this place today, if you are dead, whether half dead or completely dead, you are coming back to life. The God that did it before, he will do it again. And all those people that testified, that had blind, you no know, partial blindness, total blindness, you had a testimony. And those deaf and dumb, you had a testimony. And even those that couldn't walk, you had a testimony. And if you are still having that problem, you will never go back the same. Are you hearing me? I don't know the problem that brought to here. The God that did it for them. While he invited them in time past, he's here again. In Matthew chapter 19, verse 2. Let's see. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 2. And I read chapter 19, verse 2. And great multitude followed him. What happened? And he hid them there this place today is a place of healing is a place of blessings as he hear them there he will hear you here i say he will bless you here he will meet all your need his name can somebody child be amen i don't know what you are passing through even if it appears that the doctors have told you manage your condition till it's dead 
I'm assuring you that condition, that evil shall be terminated. Have you not heard of those people that testify of the three dead COVID-19 and just prayers made for them and that settles the case? Those that have HIV cancer and prayer was made in a midst and settles the case. And those that have hunchback in a midst and prayer was made, that settles the case. And all those were looking for blessing and things appeared to be hard. And prayer was made and they became millionaires, billionaires in a midst. You had some of them today. I want to let you know that problem you brought here will never follow you out. The cause your family, your life will be canceled today with blessings in Jesus' name. The Lord God that He them there, He is here. Did you hear me? What did I say? He is here. And somebody will be the next. <laughs> Do you believe it? We have so many scriptures here because of a time. I may not bother to read them, but Lord, I'm assuring you, your miracle will follow you. Oh, you will never go back the same. Take note. When there was no food for the multitude, I told you he blessed them. As you can see, Matthew chapter 19, verse 20, I mean chapter 14, verse 19 to 21, we're not reading. Indeed, he has come to bless humanity. And no wonder in the book of Acts chapter 10, verse 38, the Bible testified of Jesus Christ. Chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good? Healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. He went about doing what? doing good I want you to take note if he has done all these things in time past has he changed and some me I don't know what you are passing through there was a man that was a leper and that man came to Jesus and said if you if you will thou canst make me clean Jesus said I will be thou clean immediately the young man was cleansed. Listen to me. That God has not changed. I don't know what you are going through. There was a man that the son, I mean the, the, the servant was sick. And you know, when he came to Jesus, and Jesus said, I will come to hear him. And he said, Master, there's no point. Just speak a word. My servant shall be healed. And Jesus Christ marveled at the faith of that man and spoke, and the man's servant was healed. Oh, so many. When Jesus came to Peter's house, he saw the mother of Peter, uh, Peter's wife, sick of fever, and touched her, and the fever vanished away. A mortal came, and the Bible said, He healed them. Now, don't forget. So many things like that in time past. Jesus did, and he has done also much more in the Lord choosing. Has he done it? Now, he see you. God will visit you. He will bless you. I don't know what you are going through. A young man that was important for that eight years, when Jesus met him, he said, well, Rise, take your bed and go home. And that settles the matter. Today, we had a 45 years deaf and dumb. Speaking and hearing for the first time. Isn't that great? And Sammy now? I don't know what you are passing through. It is your turn. And so, our consideration in this very program should be, if God blessed the people of old, and many in our midst today, even yesterday, today, at the beginning, the consideration is this, why not me? Answer me. Why not you? If God has blessed all these people, why not you? Will you go home without blessings? Will you remain in your case anymore? Will you continue in that suffering, in that oppression, attack of the enemy, 
Put hand here, no way. Put hand here, no way. Put hand here, no way. Will you remain in that limitation? Answer me now. Will you remain in barrenness and delay in conception? And will you remain without husband, without wife? Is see you. You shall not remain in poverty. You shall not remain in that calamity, affliction, and, and attack of the enemy in your family every year. That yoke must break today in Jesus' name. If God has blessed them, if God has healed them, why not me? I'm asking, why not you? What have you done? Now make God, when he comes to your turn, he will turn away. What have you done? Answer me now. Has God changed? Will God change because of you? God has blessed many people. Gave them salvation, sanctification. Blessed them with the Holy Ghost, with all the gift of the Spirit and all the fruit of the Spirit. Gave them power. Why not you? Answer me. God has blessed many people and they are blessed materially, financially. They have everything. God bless them in all things. Why not you? Answer me. I want to ask you, why not you? Praise the Lord. If there is any reason for that, please can you tell me? Tell me why you should remain in poverty. Why you should die in that sickness? Tell me. Tell me why you should remain without husband for life. Without you, are, you know, having any child to bless that marriage. Why should you remain in that broken home? Why should you remain in only female, female children? Why should you remain in poverty? He see you. The limitation shall be broken. The cost shall be cancelled. God who blessed the people of old, has he changed? Answer me now. He will not change because of you. Because of your family. God will not change. Are you hearing me? The Bible study in Hebrews chapter 3 verse 8. Jesus Christ 13. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today and forever. And in Malachi chapter 3 verse 6, he said, For I am God, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. He see you today. You will never die in that problem. I don't know the cause. Your forefathers, mothers. I don't know the cause following your family. He see you by the blessings of the Almighty today in our midst. That cause shall be cancelled. You shall be liberated, you shall be set free in Jesus' name. I'm assuring you, after this program, there shall be no barrier. There shall be no opposition. There shall be no obstruction. Everything standing on your way, the Lord will clear them in Jesus' name. Somebody here, you must get your destination. Who is that person? You must fulfill your years. You must be a blessing to your family, a blessing to humanity. He see you. Everything standing on your way shall be crushed. The Lord will give you victory on every side and bless you all around in Jesus' name. Don't forget, he said, I will walk. Who shall let it? Devil, demon, witches and wizards. Evil personality. My friend, listen to me. In this program today, God has delighted to honor and bless you. And I want to ask you a question. Who is it that God delights to honor? Say, Pastor. Who, who, who? Point your hand towards me. Say, Pastor, you are the one that God has delighted to bless and honor in this program. Say, Pastor, you are the one. Who is the one? Uh, everybody say, I'm the one, I'm the one. 
Now, if you say you are the one, it must surely come to pass. Because confession brings possession. What you say is what you have. May I assure you, God has come to bless you. And you must be blessed. Whether devil or demon or witches or wizard, whether any power from your village says yes or no, it's immaterial. They have no power to oppose God. For the Bible said unto him, every knee shall bow. Your enemy wants bow for your breakthrough to manifest. There must be crushed for you to get your destination. The Lord will remove them out of the way in Jesus' name. Are you getting ready now? I don't know the dreaded man or woman in your, in your village and that they say, well, they are sitting on you, sitting on your property. My friend, you have the testimony today. The young man that sat on his property and the man was a dreaded man and people are being crushed and killed when the God of chosen step into the battle. What happened now? The man was put to his position. He took his little position. Why the young man chimed? He see you. The Lord will sideline your enemy. And you will shine. I say you will shine. I say you will shine. I say you will shine. You will possess your possessions and be blessed mightily in Jesus' name. Don't forget. I will walk. I'm not hearing you again. Devil. Witches and wizards. Occult men and women. And some in now. He see you. You will get your destination in life. You will possess your possession in life. I don't know what you are looking for. If you look at your Bible. In Isaiah chapter 43. Look at it. 43. Isaiah chapter 43 from verse 10. He are my witnesses, says the Lord. And my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me, understand that I am he. Before me there was no God form, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, I am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. I have declared, and have saved, and have showed, when there was no strange God among you, Therefore, ye are my witnesses, says the Lord, that I am God. Yea, before the day was, I am He, and there's not I can deliver out of my hand. Look at it. I will walk, and who shall let it? That man, that witch is a wizard agent, and Sammy, that marine kingdom agent, is see you. By the authority in the name of Jesus, victory shall be yours. Blessing shall be yours. You will possess your possession in Jesus' name. So, as you consider that God has not changed, that, that God that blessed others will bless you, today he will bless you. Are you hearing me? In this program, look at Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19. God will begin a new thing in your life. Verse 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now, it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. And rivers in the desert. He see you. God will do a new thing from this program. From this program, God will bless you. I say God will bless you. And you shall be a blessed person in life and eternity in Jesus' name. So that takes to point number two. I will expect a response and the fact that it is your turn to be blessed. Everyone should be in expectation as we all are in the right time. What is the time? What is the right time? Time for God to bless me, to bless you. Remember, yesterday I told you it is time of grace. Are you hearing me? That from now till Jesus comes, it is our time for God to bless us. And as long as we're in this time, we 
if you need salvation, salvation shall be given to you. Restoration shall be given to you. Sanctification shall be given to you. Whatsoever you need, the gift of God, the fruit and all the, you know, the fruit of the Spirit, the power of God, this is the time. Power to do exploit, to pray, to do the will of God. This is the time. And you need the blessings. Oh, my sisters and brothers who are here. This is the time of God blessings. Praise the Lord. Because that is a season and time under heaven. Everything you are looking for, that is a time for it. And your time has come. And the Bible said in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. Let's read it again. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. This is the right time for me, for you, to be blessed. And we must be blessed. For he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted. In the door of salvation have I scored thee. Behold, now is accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. When? So today, you are going home with blessings because you are here at the right time. This is the time for God to bless us. And no one will escape the blessings today. No one. You. Even if you try to run, the blessing will overtake you. You can never run faster than the blessings of God in this program today. In Jesus' name. If you look at Haggai, Haggai chapter 2, I say it is the time. And because it's the time, now is the hour. Today is the right time for God to bless somebody. In Haggai chapter 2 verse 19, it says, Is the seed yet in the, in the bar? Yeah, as yet the vine and the fig tree and the pomegranate and the olive tree. Now, look at what follows. Had not brought forth what followed from which day? From which day? From this day? From this day will I bless who? Which day? Is see you. From this day, God will bless you. From this day, God will honor you. From this day, God will meet your need. From this day, God will visit you in a special way in Jesus' name. From which day? So, we should have faith in God. Obey the totality of his word. Go on to do them. And God's blessings must overtake and overflow in our lives in Jesus' name. In Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 1. Please, chapter 28 rather. Let's go to 28. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. I read. And it shall come to pass. If thou art hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe and to do all his commandments. Which I command thee this day. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, blessed shall that be in the city, and blessed shall that be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thy kind. And the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall that be when thou comest in. And blessed shall that be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thy enemy that rise up against thee to be spitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command blessings upon thee. In thy stone houses, in all that thou settest thy hand unto, he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee and the holy people unto himself, as he has sworn unto thee. If thou shalt keep the commandment of the Lord thy God and walk in all his ways, 
and all people on the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, they shall be afraid of thee. The Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in the fruit of thy body, in the fruit of thy cattle, and the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord swore unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee the good treasure of heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thy hands, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou, thou hearken unto the commandment of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them, that assurance and giving to you. As many of you that are here in this program, the blessings of God will overtake you. Are you hearing me? If only you be a child of God and live right and continue with the Lord. I'm assuring you and do the will totally to the will of God. Blessing will overtake you. As I give command to blessings today, everywhere you go from now on, people shall favor you. You will magnet blessings. If you know as the, you know, that uh, magnet, magnet, every metal, every piece of metal, from today, as I place blessing on you, you will magnet blessings wherever you go. If you believe it, say amen. Everywhere in the marketplace, you will magnet blessings. In that office where you are working, you magnet blessings. In that yard where you are living, you magnet blessings. As you walk around the city, you magnet blessings. Around the nation, you magnet blessings. Around the state, you magnet blessings. Listen to me. People will begin to love you and favor you and give to you because the blessing has been commanded to follow you. And it must surely come to pass in Jesus' name. He see you. From this program, the Lord will bless you. Your life can never be the same in Jesus' name. So God has decided to bless all who will repent and give their life to our Lord Jesus Christ. And through him, they shall be blessed in all things. Remember. As many of you that are born again, you are qualified. Are you hearing me? As many of you that are living right, you are qualified. Even if you are not saved, today, blessing will follow you. Somebody will ask by how. As you give your life to Jesus and be born again, and you know, ask for the grace to live right, God will bless you today in Jesus' name. Are you getting ready? Jesus said, I am calm. That they might have life and have it more abundantly. He see you. The reason for Jesus coming must be fulfilled in your life. Do you believe it? He see, if you look at 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 21, he said, Therefore, let no man glory in men, for all things are yours. Verse 23, he said, You belong to Christ, Christ belongs to God. And as long as you become a child of God through Jesus today, all these things shall be yours in Jesus' name. No one will go away empty handed. If you look at Luke chapter 14, verse 17, he said, Come, all things are now ready. He see you. All your blessings are ready. I say they are ready. If you look at the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, he said, But my God shall supply how many? All your needs, spiritually, physically, materially, financially, academically, all your need. I'm assuring you, the Lord will bless you, will supply you from now on, from heaven, in Jesus' name. So, it is your turn to be blessed. Whose turn? Sister, it is your turn to be blessed. 
My brother that has been sitting here since morning, it is your turn to be blessed. Now, if it be your turn, what then do you do? If it is your turn, your turn for God to bless you, what do you do then? Praise the Lord. Now, listen to me. If it is your turn, what you should begin to do now is like one man in the Bible. Who knows that man? Jacob. What did he do? He said, I will not leave you unless you bless me. Let me find out from you. Did God bless him? From a man to a nature. He said in Genesis chapter 32 and from verse 24 to 29, you see how God, the man persisted so long that it is the time for him to be blessed. He said, I will not leave you unless you do what? Unless you bless me. And the angel said, let me go now. He said, for where? I will not leave you unless you do what? He see you. Is it your turn? Then what do you do? I'm not hearing you very well. Well, for me, I've decided to wrestle with him and to get all my needs. I will not allow him to go unless I, your pastor, will be blessed. And then the blessing will flow upon the congregation. Therefore, if you don't know how to pray, don't worry, I will pray for you. If you don't have faith, oh my God, your pastor has faith and my faith is greater than your doubt. As I'm standing here today, I'm standing for the whole world. Are you hearing me? I will not let the, this angel of blessing, I will not let the Lord to go without blessing my people, blessing my nation, blessing the nations of the world. He's seeing you. You must be blessed. I'm not hearing you. Solomon was doing some chakra for God. Can you imagine? Solomon gave God the thousand bond offering. And then he went to sleep. I said, after all, I have too much. I have too much. So what's the need of us? I just offer 1,000 rounds. And the Lord came tonight and said, Solomon, what, ask me what I will give you. You think because your father was a king for 40 years, he had made a lot of wealth for you that you don't need anything again. Who are you? Ask me, Solomon, what I will give you. Did God give him something? He said, I'll give, just give me wisdom, understanding. Don't look at him. This one is still thinking I had something. We don't understand the Luya people. What do you mean? He said, I give it to you. I give you long life. I give you riches. Because you think you have it. I give it to you. He see you now. God will give you beyond the expectations. Beyond the limitations. God will give you riches in abundance. Blessings in abundance. God will change a mountain nation. Who is that man? He see you and me. We are going to a greater level. He see you. I will hear your testimony. Because after this program, as you are walking on the streets, anywhere the blessing is hiding, it will come out because you are a magnet. It will attach to you. Who is that person? He see you. If you open your mouth and ask for a blessing, the flood of blessing will come. Rain of blessing will come. And if you say, I don't need it, you are running away like Solomon. The Lord will visit you in the night. Somebody say, Amen to that. Amen to that. He see you. As many of you that step into this program, everything about your life has been transformed. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Now listen to me. It is your turn. Who? Who? It is whose turn to be blessed. Well, 
I want to say it is a turn of every one of us. And we must be blessed. I will not leave you. Even all that people are saying, I'm going, you know, the program is over. I tell them, oh, you can go. You see here, <laughs> this is a land of blessing. I must be blessed. I will pray until I have assurance that something has happened. Until I see the angel. Remember, angels are everywhere. He see you, God will give you answer. He will give somebody answer. Who is that person? I will not leave you. Remember, he went about doing good. Jesus went about. He went about. Jesus went about. And he went about. Jesus went about. He went about. Jesus went about. I went about. Jesus went about. Jesus went about. Jesus went about. He went about. No, no time, no. There is no time. I want to round up. Jesus went about. He went about. Jesus went about. Jesus went about. Jesus went about. And he went about. Jesus 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 went about. Allow me to round up. He will do, don't worry, he will do you good. Don't jump out, don't jump out. Jump back to your seat. He will do you good. Everybody here, everybody here, I say you are qualified. He will do you good. You will go home rejoicing in Jesus' name. So what are you going to do now? In Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, he said, as it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asks, get, receive. Are you going to ask? Get ready, you will receive. I said, somebody will receive. Who is that person? For everyone that asks, get. Now, as I round up, don't forget. For you, I say you are qualified because you are here. You only need to take this step as I'm concluding that. Listen very well. As you take the step I'm going to lead you through, my friend, you will go home with blessings. My Bible tells me in the book of 1 John chapter 3 verse 8, he that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. That he might destroy the works of the devil. Verse 9. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. For the seed of God remains to him. And he cannot sin because he is born of God. This is very, very clear. A Christian is not a sinner. And a sinner is not a Christian. You need to search your life. If you are living in sin, you must do something. So they can identify with God and God will begin to bless you. You may ask him, what is sin? In 1 John chapter 5, verse 17a, all unrighteousness is sin. Anything that is not righteousness is what? Sin. Unbelief is what? Sin. Unforgiveness is what? Sin. Selfishness is what? Sin. Anger is sin. Lying is sin. Pride is sin. Contention and strife and bitterness and keeping malice and bearing grudge, lusting after everything. All these things are terrible sins. Covetousness. Love of the world. These are terrible sins. Such your life. May I remind you Unfaithfulness is sin. Insincerity. 
hatred, envy. You need to search your life. Backbiting, murmuring, cursing people, swearing with heaven and earth, worshiping idol, making idol, having an idea in your heart. Confess them and renounce them and promise God no more. Amen your ways. All those that go to native doctors to make sham for divination, for buying reading, those that are consulting the dead, repent and promise God no more. And if you have their property, gather them and burn them. Amen your ways. Listen to me. All those that belong to secret court, open court, marine court, local court, international court, any kind of court, court is in his bad. Gather their property, burn them, renounce them, and promise God no more. Amend your ways. I don't know the wickedness are into those that are into stealing, picking pockets, breaking home of people, burglary, and collecting their property. Those are into, you know, I'm robbery. Any kind of robbery. Repent and promise God no more. Those are into fraud. They dupe black people, white people, and they into also dupe government. Repent and promise God no more. And if you have brought their money here, the money you are dupe people, you are rob people, and you want to give offering, we don't need your money. Please go back with your money. Go home. We don't need your money. And mend your ways. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Such your life. I don't know the evil. You see all these people are into masturbation, fornication, adultery, homosexual, lesbianism. These are terrible sins. Those into get. Renounce them. Promise God no more. Such your life. Are you into prostitution? Are you among those are into private and public prostitution? Are you patronizing the prostitute? Are you into child trafficking? Are you into abortion? Are you adding abortion? These are terrible sins. No murderer has inherited the kingdom of God. No murderer. Are you into hired assassin? Ritual killing? Are you among those that are into, you know, kidnapping and killing? Are you a murderer? Repent. Are you killing them with charms? Amen your ways. Promise God no more. Ask for the mercy of God. The Lord will show you mercy. Amen your ways. Now is that acceptable time. Tomorrow may be too late. Are you into fighting and quarreling? disobedient to your husband and maybe you are beating your wife or you are fighting people or maybe you, what you do you don't pay those working for you, that's stealing or you don't work and you collect salary that is wickedness amen you are with, if they pay you, you must work to justify, to build a company which you are being, you know Paid from so that the salary will be justified. Amen. You are ways. Are you giving bribe and taking bribe and stopping money from people because of your gun, your uniform, because of your position? Repent of extortion. Amen. Your ways. Those into smuggling. Amen. Your ways. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Are you taking snuff, smoking cigarettes, in their him, cocaine, heroin? Are you selling it or buying it to be buying it for people? Repent and say, Lord, I'm sorry. And if that is the means of making money, we don't need your money. Don't give us a tithe or offering or whatever. Amen. Your ways. Are you taking alcoholic drinks? One percent, half percent, white mimbo brukutu beer, hot drinks, apurashia. Do you know these things are a poison to the soul? You don't need them at all, at all. Repent, renounce them, promise God no more. Don't sell it, don't buy it for people. I mean, you are ways. As I begin to round up, 
Search your life. Look at your Bible. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, I read verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the righteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither for the kettles, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of the self of mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Those that live this kind of life, they shall not enter heaven. Don't do it anymore. Are you among those that marry and divorce? You marry and divorce your wife. Or you divorce your husband, that's wickedness. If you have done that, bring back your wife, return back to your husband. If your second wife or third wife or fourth wife, pack your load and go. You have no husband. If your man that married then three, remove the second and third one. Otherwise, you have married to hellfire. If you don't remove them, amen do you are ways. Return your first wife, your first husband, until they do your part. In Matthew chapter 19, verse 4, let's read. Matthew chapter 19, verse 4. And I read chapter 19, verse 4. And he answered and said unto them, Have you not read? That which made them at the beginning, made them male and female, and said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and then twin shall be one flesh. Wherefore, there are no more twin but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Marriage is until they do all part. I mean, their ways. Are you a woman that paint your hands and paint your leg and paint your mouth? Don't do it anymore. Or put extra finger, extra eye, attachment, weave on permanent, your rings and jewelry, bango, you make up your body. That's sin. Or you dress, expose your chest, your armpit, your tummy, expose your nakedness. Don't do it anymore. Or you're a young man that do Jericho, rough hair, scattered hair. You play the hair like a woman, wear that, 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 you know, trousers. My friend, uh, you know, dress, um, you know, those people that dress half naked, young men, don't do that anymore. Cover your underwear. There's nothing to share about it. And mend your ways. My Bible said in Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 30, when they are spoiled, what shall they do? Do they go after paint, after ornament? When they want to spoil, you begin to make up. You don't need to make up. Now, I remind you, if a woman wearing trousers, that's abomination. If a man wearing skirt and blouse, oh, that is a sign that you are possessed. That's an abomination. The Bible said in Deuteronomy 22, verse 5, I read Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. Look at your Bible. As I begin to round up, these are very important because the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. In chapter 22, verse 5, 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaining to a man. Neither shall a man put on woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord. All that are wearing that kind of garment are abomination. And the Bible says in Revelation 21 verse 8. Revelation 21 verse 8. I read verse 8. But they fear for an unbelieving and abominable murderers and homongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which born with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. People that do this kind of thing shall be cast into hell fire. Such your life. Amen your ways. Proverbs 28, verse 13 says, He that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but whoso that confess them and forsake them shall have mercy. The Lord will show you mercy. Remember in Exodus chapter 12, verse 13. The Bible said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. That's a symbol of the blood of Jesus. In John chapter 1 verse 29, God is looking for blood. But not just the blood of animal, but the blood of Jesus Christ. I look at 29. The next day, John sees Jesus coming unto him. And said, behold the lamp of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Who is that lamp? Not animal, Jesus Christ. No wonder the Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 16, for God so loved the world that gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Remember, if you look at John chapter 19, verse 30, when Jesus shed the blood, he said, What? It is finished. The end of all sacrifice for sin, he said, It is all over. And in John chapter 14, verse 6, he said, I am the way, 
not a way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. Only through him. Have reconciliation with God. Access to God. If you look at John chapter 10, verse 10, he said, I come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. And if you look at John chapter 8, verse 36, he said, If the Son therefore shall make you free, make you free, you shall be free indeed. And in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, he said, Come to me. Jesus said, Come to me, not to us, not to um, Joseph, John, Mary, Martha. No. He said, Come to me. Not an apostle, come to me. All you that labor and heavy land, and I will give you rest. Now, if you look at John chapter 1, please look at this place. John chapter 1 and verse 12. But as many as receive him, to them gave him power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. As many as receive who? What power did he receive? Power of sonship. That power shall be your portion now. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, is a new creation. All things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. Are you ready to give your life to Jesus? In Romans chapter 10 verse 13, it says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Are you ready to be saved? Are you ready to be blessed? Rise up now. So rise up on your feet. And do the first thing first. Because seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Whatever you are looking for, God will give it to you. Open your mouth and pray. Amen your ways. Confess your sins. Repent of them. Surrender to Jesus. Make you your Lord your personal Savior. Invite Jesus to come into your heart to be your Lord. Begin to pray now. Your Savior. Open your mouth and pray. Confess your sins. Amen their ways. I am sorry for all unrighteous thought or ways or action or disposition for wickedness. Forgive me. I'm sorry, O oh Lord. I am very, very sorry. Everybody pray. I am very, very sorry. Forgive me. Show me mercy. Save me. Sanctify me. Restore me. Lord, heal me. Of, of, heal my soul of unrighteousness. Everybody pray. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Father, I am sorry, Lord. Oh, Lord, I am sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Jehovah. Oh, Lord. I want more time. Sorry, Lord. Father. Oh Lord, if you are truly sorry and you want to give your life to Jesus, just raise your hand up. I want to pray for you. Raise your hand up. That person into, into smoking and drinking, promise God no more. You that is committing adultery, promise God no more. Even that person involved in abortion, promise God no more. Are you involved with fornication? Tell the Lord no more. A person into stealing, into robbery. The one taking Indian hemp, are you taking drug? The person involved into kidnapping and killing, say no more. That person fighting, having unforgiving heart, ask God to forgive you. I want you to say this word after me. Almighty God, I come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I confess that I am a sinner. I am very sorry for all my sins. Lord, I promise you, I will never continue in them anymore. From today, I confess and I believe that Jesus Christ died for me. He shed his precious blood for me, and he was buried. And on the third day, he rose again for my justification. Almighty God, use the blood of Jesus Christ Wash my sins away from my heart. I plead the blood of Jesus. From today, I reject the devil. I renounce all his evil. Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my personal Savior. Cancel my name in the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Give me power to sin no more. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Keep your two hands up. Sing this song. I surrender. I surrender, 
to Jesus, bless and save you. I surrender. I surrender again. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. All to Jesus. Blessed Savior. I surrender. I surrender. Keep your hands up and pray for you. A Father in heaven, I present my people before you. Whatsoever they have done, known and unknown to them. Father, in your rod, remember mercy. Every yoke of power that makes them to do evil, I break that yoke in Jesus' name. From this moment, I claim their spirit, their soul, their body for Jesus. Cancel their name in the book of death. Write their name in the book of life. Give them power to sin no more. Father, restore backsliders. Sanctify believers. Make us pure. Make us holy. Make us holy.